What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a pickups video because I haven't done one in a while. Honestly, it's probably not the best time to do it because I'm kind of in a buying mood. So I feel like I'm just going to buy a ton of stuff and then forget about it. But I don't, I don't even remember like what I showed last time. So I'm just going to show stuff that I've been wearing lately, basically. Anyway, let's get into it. I have to change though because I'm wearing some of the stuff that I recently bought. All right, I totally forgot because it was in my pocket. So I'm just going to put this at the beginning of the video because why not? But... I got this Margiela wallet on the Essence sale. Let's see, just like kind of like a card holder, but with a little bit more space. And uh, yeah, honestly, I bought my other wallet that I had for like since maybe like eighth grade or freshman year of high school at Ross. So I was like, screw it. I'm going to buy the Margiela wallet and keep it for 10 years. But yeah. All right. I changed. I got these back recently, but I wouldn't like call that a pickup. They're just a pair of red lines that I like how they fit. Um, but as for stuff I recently bought, we will probably start with the better stuff and then I'm just going to finish it off with tees. But first off, we have the Grailed Low Ball Biggie uh, Painter. 501s. I don't really know if somebody actually painted in these or if somebody did a custom on them. The guy didn't even have them like listed as vintage Levi's. He had them listed as custom Levi's and I, uh, I found them when I was making a video making fun of Grailed Customs. But yeah, they're super painted on. I kind of wish that the paint wasn't like red. It was like green or like something, another color, but they fit really well. They do have this like thick, like oil paint on them all over, which I think is cool because it's just going to wear off pretty cool. They are the 66 cut with the V stitch, my favorite pair of jeans ever. And I do believe that somebody bleached these out because these would have been like like they didn't sell these this light of a wash, so they probably were bleached or just worn that much. But I kind of the reason I doubt that is because I feel like they would be shredded if they were actually worn to where they were this color. But who knows? Because these would have been like just a deep indigo. I don't think that they started making this light wash until like the 70s, and these are 60s. But yeah, I'll show you guys the tab. Let's see I don't know you can't tell they're biggies though they fit pretty nice like I said they have like huge like heel bite right here so it kind of annoys me a little bit but not enough to I mean I got them for like 200 bucks shipped like DHL so I'm not going to complain about them that much but nice pair of 60s biggies crazy paint splatters um yeah i don't know i'll probably show you guys stuff on i haven't decided though we'll see i'm just trying to make like a quick video because i just feel like doing it today then the next one these came in yesterday this is kind of what i've been waiting on but these are the capital century denim um this is the brown colorway as you can see it's brown with the indigo thread uh but yeah honestly they're really good quality i like them better than i thought i would a lot of people like are like they aren't salvage but you know whatever i've wanted a pair of buckle backs for a while like original ones but it's so incredibly hard to find them with the length that i need like because I need like a 32 length. I think these are a 33. Um, and like people were just not that tall back in the day. So most of the early workwear that you can find out there is uh, like 26 inseam, which would just look ridiculous on me. So that's kind of why I gravitated towards getting something a little bit newer. Um, but 
yeah, I bought these off of Owen Hyatt on his website. And yeah, I love them so far. I'm looking forward to breaking them in more. Um, but yeah, be careful out there if you're trying to buy a pair because most of the pairs on Grailed are fake. These ones are real, but yeah, just something to be aware of. They're dyed using like pear persimmon, I think, to get this brown dye on them. And yeah, I just love them. I didn't realize it until I actually had them in hand how much I like them because I feel like they've expanded my wardrobe out a lot because lately it's just been blue jeans. That's like all I've had in terms of pants and these still jeans, still the same classic silhouette. These ones are a little bit wider than the uh, pairs I normally wear, but yeah, I am honestly kind of in a designer mood. So I'm thinking about buying some more capital and stuff like that because that's just what I'm in the mood for. And uh, I don't know, probably moving away from wearing t-shirt jeans every day. Um, just cause I'm kind of bored of it to be completely honest. But I was wearing these today. That's what I had to take off for the video. Um, let's see, next we got the meme, I guess. It's the arc shell. It is pretty beat. I'll be completely honest. I think this is the Alpha SL off the top of my head, but it's in this burnt orange colorway. I mainly got it off of the homie cam because it was very, very cheap. Um, but like you can see like on the inside, like the seams need to be taped again. And like this zipper looks like it got chewed on and it needs to be hit with a DWR coating. But I was like, art jacket for 50 bucks in my size. I will take that all day. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna get it fixed up and then I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or sell it, but you know, it's not like for me, it's literally just like a functional, like I needed a rain jacket thing. It's not like a flex thing. I don't know, Arc is getting memed out, but I've had Arc since like, a couple years ago is when I started buying ARC stuff. I just had no reason to wear it in Arizona, um, but now I need it. So, cause I had, I've been like a thousand dollar ARC jacket like a while ago, but it was like cut down the back. Mm -hmm. So I sold it for a lot cheaper than a thousand dollars. And then like, I found like cerium puffers, like everything. Uh, but yeah, I found like a surprising amount of ARC for being in Arizona. Like you wouldn't think you would find it here, but I found like several jackets, pants, like everything, arc. Anyway, on to the next. This is what the last video was about, but I got another one. This one is of course a Patagonia Deep Pile Retro X. This one is either an 88 or an 89. So the earliest version of this style of Patagonia Deep Pile, which is probably the most famous, arguably most sought after. This one has the blue pocket on it. Uh, like the difference between this one and the other one is this one's a little bit more worn in, blue pocket instead of the other one. And then it's got these Opti zips. The other ones are YKK, um, but yeah, size large, my size. I got it in and I was thinking I would keep both, but this is going to be for sale. I'll probably post it on the website next week, but if you need it, DM me. I will tell you right now though, I'm gonna ask $800 on it. So yeah, but it was a good grailed steel, low ball, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and yeah, it's still a great jacket. It literally just comes down to, I like the green pocket version a little bit better than this one. And this one's in a little bit like it's still in excellent condition. It's just the green pocket that I have is like dead stock when I bought it. So anyway, on to the next one, which is like my only bins fine. And then it's just t-shirts, I guess. And I said, I don't want to wear t-shirts anymore, but I, I don't know. I've been on like, just buy random t-shirts, but this one, you may have seen it in a previous video. I don't know. Um, but this is a 1940s bowling shirt. This one's in a really nice beige colorway. And I love this tag if I can get it so you can see it. But 
yeah, it's got a loop collar on it. Uh, the horizontal little button holders. It is selvage, if you guys are wondering. Uh, and this one's like a really nice rayon material as well. But the back is what does it. It's got this really nice chain stitch on the back. You can kind of see it shimmering there. I hold it up like really nice chain stitch. Um, and yeah, it fits me really good. Just wear it. This is like my only button up shirt I wear, but honestly, I'm about to start rocking like this type of style, you know, the capital with the bowling shirt and then probably throw on, you know, a jacket on top of that, like a work jacket. If anybody has like a black moleskin work jacket and like a medium to a large, hit me up because I want one. I haven't found one that fits me right. But yeah, bowling shirt, one of my favorite things I've found at the bins. And honestly, like I've only kept like a couple things I found at the bins for myself. Um, but yeah. Anyway, onto the t-shirts. This one I have not worn one time. I'll probably just sell it. Um, the only reason I, I got it is because it's like a bar my mom went to in the 80s and this is a shirt for it in the 80s. So there you go, Sloppy Joe's Key West t-shirt, nice little black t-shirt. This is the only banger I've really bought recently. Smashing Pumpkins, Mission to Mars. I got it for a really good price because somebody chopped the sleeves and they chopped it short. And when they chopped it, it ended up just being my measurements, but it's got a really great fade. It's kind of my go-to, just throw it on shirt right now, I would say. And uh, yeah, Pig Cuddy wore this shirt, really famous shirt, always wanted it. Now I have it. Ironically, Smashing Pumpkins are not even my favorite band or anything. But I just have the most other shirts because their shirts are cool and they're pretty accessible compared to like Nirvana or Radiohead, which obviously I want pretty bad. This is just another $10 shirt I bought. Little 80s Harley Davidson style t-shirt with the wolf on it. Elko, Nevada. Nice fade. Fits good. Throw it on. You know the vibes. Um, then we got a Jesus tee. This one I got off of the homie Vex Vintage, somebody broke into his van and he did a great sale. So I picked up this Jesus T off of him to pay for his window, hopefully. Um, but yeah, nice colors, nice fit, nice fade. Cannot go wrong with a Jesus T. This one, another $5 t-shirt. Uh, this one is Kappa Alpha Theta Sorority. It had this like weird like applique like I don't know the, the material is like really weird so I just ripped that off as you can see and it's just like the perfect Vader shirt and my favorite tag as well. Show you. Hanes beefy late 80s but yeah, just another nice fader to throw on and wear. Um, this one was in a trade. Got this 60s-ish BMW Vancouver Canada shirt. Another just nice car shirt that fits nice. I love these styles of graphics. Cannot go wrong. And then to end off the video, we have another one from Cam, Age Threads. Uh, Probably never going to sell this thing, but we have this 80s. I got it, if I can get the graphics so you can see it. I got it at Goodwill. And ironically, after I bought this shirt, I've only went to Goodwill once because I'm just kind of over it right now. But yeah, I think somebody bleached this out. I think originally it was like a blue color, and now it's this nice like white color with the contrast stitching. You can see it better in person, but yep. I got it at Goodwill. Iced tea. I got a lot of stuff at Goodwill. Not much that I wear though. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Um, my next video is probably going to be long and crazy if I get around to doing it. If not, I will tell you what's up uh, later. But yeah, basically I have a lot of stuff going on right now. 
wanted to put out some content for the YouTube people. If you are watching this, when I post it, the website sale is still on now through New Year's Day. 30% um, off everything, no order minimum. It applies at checkout. Uh, so yeah, if you wanna buy yourself some pickups, do it on my website before the sale ends. Um, and if you see this after that, then sorry. But anyway, thank you for watching the video. Have a great day. All right, I totally forgot because it was in my pocket. So I'm just gonna put this at the beginning of the video because why not? But I got this Margiela wallet on the Essence sale. Let's see, just like kind of like a card holder, but with a little bit more space. And uh, yeah, honestly, I bought my other wallet that I had for like since maybe like eighth grade or freshman year of high school at Ross. So I was like, screw it. I'm going to buy the Margiela wallet and keep it for 10 years. But yeah.